Hi, my name is Kweko. I am a pharmacist. In today's video, I'm going to look at how beetroot juice can be used in the management of high blood pressure or hypertension. I'm going to take a look at how it works. I'll take a look at some evidence to support the claims, and I'll give you five specific tips as to how best you can utilize beetroot or beetroot juice for the best results. And as always, this review is for informational purposes only. Please do not start, stop, or make any changes to your medication regimen without first talking to your doctor. So for starters, how does as beetroot or beetroot juice work? Well, the main mechanism behind beetroot or beetroot juice effectiveness in lowering blood pressure lies in the fact that it contains a high amount of nitrates. Nitrates are naturally occurring compounds that are found in many plants, specifically leafy green plants. So we have our spinach, cabbage, and lettuce. They are all rich in nitrates. However, Beetroot contains about the greatest amount of nitrates, about 250 milligrams per 100 grams. When you consume nitrate-rich foods, the nitrate, some of the nitrate is absorbed into the bloodstream and carried all over the body to the various tissues. By a series of mechanisms involving gut bacteria, involving low oxygen conditions, and involving certain enzymes in the bloodstream, these nitrates are eventually converted into nitric oxide. Now, nitric oxide is a very potent vasodilator. Now, what that means is that it, it has the ability to relax the smooth muscles that line the blood vessels, causing them to become more, uh, for want of a better word, elastic. In other words, they can expand and help the blood to flow freely through them. In other words, there is less resistance to blood flow when they become dilated, leading to a reduction in blood pressure. Nitric oxide is also touted to have some other cardiovascular benefits, such as inhibition of platelet aggregation. In other words, it prevents your platelets from clumping together and forming clots. It's been also touted to reduce inflammation, which is one of the key causes of several metabolic diseases. Now let's look at what the research says. And there have been several studies that have been done to demonstrate the effectiveness of beetroot or beetroot juice in lowering blood pressure even in cases where medications have not been so effective. One of the most popularly cited studies in the use of beetroot juice in the management of hypertension was one conducted at the Queen Mary University in London, which was funded by the British Heart Foundation. In that study, they recruited 64 people who had high blood pressure. Now, half of the 64 people were already taking medication, but they were not reaching their target blood pressure goals, and the other half had not yet been started on medication. The participants were randomly assigned to either take a 250 milliliter glass of beetroot juice daily for four weeks, that's about 8.5 ounces or so daily for four weeks, while the other half did not take any uh, beetroot juice, they took a placebo. All participants had their blood pressure monitored at regular intervals using 24-hour ambulatory blood pressure monitors. The results show that the participant that actually took the beet reduce had their systolic blood pressure, the top number, reduced by about 8 millimeters of mercury and their diastolic, which is the bottom number, reduced by about 4 millimeters of mercury. And they found this result to be more pronounced in people who had relatively higher starting blood pressures. In other words, the higher the beginning blood pressure, the more pronounced the effect of the beetroot juice on lowering their blood pressure at the end of the study. The researchers were thus able to conclude that beetroot juice can be an adjunct or can be an addition to even regular medications, especially for those people who are not able to reach their target blood pressure numbers based on their regular or conventional medication. Now, with the evidence pointing to the fact that beetroot juice can actually help people with high blood pressure, let's look at five tips as to how to use beetroot juice safely and effectively. Now, the first tip is that even though beetroot juice is generally considered safe for most people, it's always a good idea to run it by your doctor when you're making any major changes to your healthcare, especially for people who have a history of diabetes and kidney disease, as those people may sometimes have a limitation on the amount of nitrate-rich foods that they need to be consuming just to avoid complications. Secondly, when you start taking beetroot juice, it's a good idea or best practice to monitor your blood pressure, at least in the initial stages, just to make sure that you're not dipping too low. Uh, maybe there needs to be some adjustments to the quantity you're taking, or they maybe need to adjust your regular medications. Maybe there may be some um, dose decreases that may be warranted once you start taking beetroot juice. So definitely good idea, best practice to monitor your blood pressure once you start taking beetroot juice. Third,
certainly you should be aware of some potential side effects, which is usually virtually non-existent and except in a few cases where some people will experience some stomach upset, some diarrhea here and there. If that is you, then maybe best practice will be for you to start slow and gradually increase the quantity. One thing that I wanted to mention though, that beetroot juice may discolor your urine or even make your stools uh, reddish, give it a reddish color. This is not dangerous. Usually it's temporary, will go away uh, and it's, it's nothing to be worried about. It's just the color of the beetroot juice that is manifested in your stool on your urine. So for most people, that is not a problem. Number four is that be careful about the kind of beetroot juice that you buy, make sure you're buying one that is um, ideally organic, uh, free of preservatives. Uh, and better still, you can juice your own uh, beetroot juice at home. I mean, you can get a, a juicer and do your own juicing. That is what I recommend. Um, but if you are busy, if you're on the move and you don't have a juicer, there's always a beetroot juice powder, which you can get on places like Amazon. Uh, I can put a link in the description to some of the recommended products. You can just grab a uh, beetroot um, powder and just mix it in water and you're good to go for the busy guys. But ideally, I prefer to juice your own natural beetroot juice at home. Number five is the dosage. And with like with most other natural substances, there's really not a standardized dose for beetroot juice. However, most of the studies use between 250 and 500 milliliters of beetroot juice, which tend to do the trick for most people without the attending side effects. So there you go, beetroot juice, a very natural alternative to managing your blood pressure if traditional medications have not worked. Thank you for staying through on your screen now. It's another video that I did, which I believe you will find interesting if you stay to the end of this video. Thank you so much. Stay blessed and catch you on the next video.